Alright, hello YouTube. Um, just want to make a quick video of uh, the upgrade I did on my Senegal Chameleon's cage. Um, he's right there. He's, um, I really don't know how old he is. But, as you can see, he's really happy. As you can tell, because when they're, like, really bright green, means they're, like, the happiest. This is what I've heard. And he seems fine. He seems to like this new thing that I did to him. And I'm about to show you what I did. And, um, this back here, that's another chameleon. Uh, that's my brother's his name, is, or her name is Luna. Um, and, um, it's not mine. I'm not going to keep it in the same cage as me, as my, um, uh, as that one. Because, uh, I just don't want that one to get stressed out, the other one. But, They've been doing fine so far. Um, alright, well, what I want to show you that I added on here is this. It's this whole thing. See this thing twirling right here? It's pretty much. You know, I'll tell you a story. I was cleaning out the cage, or, you know, just cleaning the bottom part. And, um,. I just pretty much threw everything back in there, and I was like, this probably needs to look more like a jungle, because it doesn't look anything like it so far. So, I like went out to I was going to go look for some twigs, and I found this tree. It's this tree right here. It's probably like five feet tall, probably even more. And so, um, I took it out. Or I went to go get some shovel to get some shovels, and I um, um, digged it out and got all the dirt off of it, cleaned it up, and then I pretty much just like made it fit in the cage, as you can see. And then so you know, I just gave it like a lot more, I guess, jungleish, jungleish look. So. Um, that's what I added on here. Um, um, let me tell you the stuff that's organic. Uh, this is, you know, obviously a tree, organic. Um, this right here, and this right here, this plant is real right here. Um, the chameleon is organic. He is alive. Okay. Well, he's alive, but uh, anyways, um, that's pretty much all that's real in here. Um, and you know the crickets. That's about all. It's pretty much organic in here. I have these vines, which are you know they're like holding holding this thing, so it won't like break the cage or whatever um and uh, yeah I added this ceramic paper or plastic wrap like kitchen wrap to uh, keep the humidity in because that's where the waterfall is and the bark is going to maintain like wet moist it's going to keep all this part down here like came to like right now if I put my finger down here you can like feel the humidity right away. It's you know it you might not think it helps a lot, but it does a lot. Um this right here, I got it I got the idea off uh this video that I watched about uh what's it called? Panther Chameleon. Um I think the dude's name on YouTube was Nick L something. I don't know. He had like a Murph and uh, Sven, Sven, something like that, like a chameleon, and he had a panther chameleon, and a, I think it was a Jackson chameleon, I'm not sure, I mean, it's, I don't can't remember well, but, um, this thing right here, that I have right there, that actually I made up, and it's like where I put the wax worms at, and it was just, you know, shoot his tongue right down there, and then, uh, he can, 
He'll sit right here and shoot his tongue down to there. To get the cricket to go down there. Um, I uh, hired the um, the heat lamp because he was sitting up here, and it's like really hot right there, like right under it. Like if you keep your hand or whatever under it, it'll burn it. And so he was sitting right here, up right here, and the lamp is like. You know, just has the bulb is almost touching them, and so I don't really want that because I don't want them to burn himself when it's. If you put your hand right here, it's pretty hot. It's his basking spot, and you shouldn't need more than that. Um. So yeah, just give it some more jungly jungle look. Yeah, that's where they live. I'll make this happy as possible uh... the bark you know people say you, know, you shouldn't have bark because when they shoot their tongue to get the um, cricket or whatever it'll get some of the bark in his mouth but the crickets are going to be right there in that little container so you don't have to worry about that and still got the UVB light and the waterfall is pretty good I was going to put a um a dripper but I just you know about this forty dollars up at smart <sighs> it's a lot of money I wouldn't you know want to get the dripper and then totally just waste forty dollars on that waterfall so I'm gonna keep that and not put the dripper in if I get another chameleon which I do want I will put a um, dripper in instead of that um, just, uh, put any, um, comments on the video if you have any questions, and I'll reply to them. Uh, please, like, don't leave me a message, because i just rather more people see it. Like, if you leave a comment, people will see that, you know, you're asking me questions about it. And also, like, um, you know, if they have the same question, I'll have to answer it twice, which I don't mind, but, you know, it's just easier, make, makes life easier. So just please do that, and, uh, tell me if you have any suggestions about how I can make this kitchen better for Diego. And... Um, you know, if there's anything else I should do, it, or something I should take out, because you think it it probably won't be good for him. Um, um, what I did right here, let me tell you how to do one of these. Just get like a normal bottle or whatever you can find, and pretty much just cut a hole right there, and leave probably like three inches up so the crickets can't get out. And for some reason they don't jump out, I don't know why, but they don't. So, you know, it works. And that's just the cap, and then that's a, um, what's it called, um, a paper clip. It's going through the cage, and it's just holding it. And, you know, it's pretty much just common sense. You don't have to think about it too much. But, yeah. Um, just comment, rate, rate five, please, and subscribe to my videos, and I'll keep some more going and answering y'all's questions. Thank you very much, and bye.